Oh man. <laughs> so yummy. Oh, good. <laughs> Maybe. Not as good. All right, honest opinion. Me or Alicia, who's gonna make a better burger? I have no idea. I know Alicia cooks a lot and you cook a lot. showdown today. Alicia versus Jake. Here's the rolls cut and dry. Best burger wins. Taste plus presentation. Inspired by the bearded butchers. These guys make great videos. We will have their channel linked down below. Check them out after this video. Let's get in and figure out who makes the best burger y'all. 15 minutes start. Yeah 15 minutes till your burgers hit the grill. Go. This is the New Mexico Bowl. I've cooked a lot of elk burgers in my life. Maybe the most. Secret ingredient right here, okay? With wild game, right here. I learned this from a chef in Texas at the elk share camp. He makes, he makes funny voices with, when he's playing with the dog. But, you know, who doesn't do that? We like burgers here, and we eat a lot of burgers, not only in, with elk meat, but anytime we go out to eat, we usually get a burger, so kind of know what we like, and we're ready to go here. How long have you been refining this uh, burger recipe? You know, it's different every time. You just do a little of this, a little of that, but probably about 10 years, been making burgers for the uh, state and family. I actually really like cooking. My brother and his wife have a catering company and I get to eat a lot of their food and taste a lot of their food. I kind of learned a lot from him watching different cooking shows, things like that. What are you most excited for? To eat. <laughs> I just be a judge, but really get to eat. I already worked out today, so like, just need to resupply. You're kind of a low-key foodie more than I thought you were. I'm pretty spoiled. I literally, the only thing I'm responsible for cooking is breakfast a couple times a week when Alicia is not interested, and that's oatmeal and eggs or protein pancakes. And then dinner, if I ever have to make dinner, it's elk spaghetti. It's like, oh, okay, you want me to make dinner tonight? We're having elk spaghetti. So when did you when did you know she's the one, like when she made that first elk burger? When did that happen? Yeah, man, I met her at the gym, weird. Six months later, got on one knee. Six months later, married. I knew right away. talk with him right there. Though. He's already okay. got his burger sure. mostly processed. I'm not worried, you can talk. So when I was down in Texas at the Elk Shape Camp, I met a professional chef and he, I tasted his burgers, they were phenomenal. And I kept asking him like, what is in this? What is in this? I'm guessing all these ingredients and he's laughing because I'm way off. And I said, no dude, really, what is it? Finally, I got him to tell me, 
Coconut aminos, cocoa aminos we call them. Liquid aminos, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I kind of use it like a Worcestershire and with wild game, it tastes so good. What over mix, Jake over mix? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Make a lot better food. How important is it in a future girl that you date that she's got cooking skills? It's important that she can cook, but I enjoy cooking and I like cooking. Me cooking good food that somebody appreciates is nice as well. Appreciative. Appreciative. What veggies, this is, what do you think? What veggies should go on a burger? I'll tell you mine. Lettuce, onions, mushrooms, ketchup mustard. Tomato? Tomato, I could give or take. Mushrooms, mushrooms sizzle a little bit. That's a game breaker for me. What about pickles? Pickles? Either way, I like pickles, yeah, either way. What about you? Tell me about you. Dream burger. Build it. Crunchy lettuce. Actually, the bun matters. You can't give me some bullshit, like, wheat. Frozen. Frozen. Crappy, tiny, like I like a really or do good. Or you want it to fall apart when you take a bite? <laughs> I like a good, I like nice buns, huh? <laughs> Crunchy lettuce, good buns, huns. Juicy burger, little bit of cheese, not, not overdone. Absolutely no onions, zero onions. A little bit of ketchup. Uh, I like it when people make burgers with their own special kind of sauce that they've come up with or whatever. That's always good. And a little bit of crunchy bacon and um, mm, I'm a happy man. Real mayo. And what's this bad boy? This is secret. You find that everywhere or your local? Fred Meyers. Fred Meyer, Kroger, Whole Foods. Who said I liked cooking? It's a necessity. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to learn how to do all this stuff. I didn't really grow up grow up like cooking with my mom per se. I mean, I'd watch her a little bit here and there, but it's been a lot of learning curve. Like, because when I first met Dan, like we were only eating wild games. So I kind of started at a disadvantage because that's, it's a little bit harder to cook. So I go to try to cook like a regular beef steak and it's way underdone because I'm used to just sear, sear, pull it off. Whereas beef would take a little bit longer because it has more fat. So it's been a lot of uh, trial and error, let's say now that I've you know, I've been doing it for about 15 years. I feel like got it down pretty good. Have a few like go-to recipes that I have. That's when it is fun for me. We love eating wild game. With the burger, gotta have those Coco Aminos. I'm telling you, that is the ticket. I use it for tacos and burgers, things like that. So good, but it's just a little less cooking time and we usually try to add some fat to it. I got my special sauce and I don't even have to make it. <laughs> Today's like uh, make, make a wish day. We made Jake's wish come true. How long has Jake been pitching us food ideas? He's pretty persistent when he has an idea. Like He's very persistent. The hot wing video, you guys will probably end up having to do that because he won't stop bringing it up. But that's a whole nother story. We're doing it, Jake. We're doing it. And hopefully you guys like it because let us know what you think. Cooking. Cooking with Jake Webb and Mrs. Elkshape, a.k.a. Alicia Staten. Let's go. Hear that sizzle, Alicia? Ooh, no. I used to watch cooking shows like as a kid, but I enjoy making good food and letting people eat it and seeing their expressions when they eat it and like it's good tasting. I can tell by the look on their face. They don't really have to tell me. I hope we don't let you let you down, Jake. But well, we're gonna be tough. You're gonna be a tough judge, aren't you? Yeah, but I, I'm kind of easy to please when it comes to food. Moment of truth, Big Burger Showdown. This, this is the best job ever.
This could not go well tonight if it goes the wrong way. Dude, we're putting that on the shelf. This is serious business for YouTube. Test them. See the jiggle? Look at down here. Want one of them jiggle jiggle? Yeah. Perfect. All right, hit us, dog. No blindfolds, because there's kind of a big difference in the burger, so we're going straight up. These are two very different burgers. This is a Jake Webb Mega Special and Alicia Down and Dirty Simple Traditional American Style. Both were made with a lot of love. A lot of love. Appreciate you guys. And a lot of talent. You, you and I don't have this talent. All right, let's go. No, no, same one, same time. Are you ready? Cheers. Thank you, guys. We gotta try them both before we talk, right? <laughs> Damn it, off the burger in one bite. <laughs> it's a very long, dramatic chew. I'm absorbing all the taste and mm -hmm. texture. Mm -hmm. You might be good at this. This could be his stride, dude. We might be catching his stride. <laughs> he could be a very opinionated food guy. Um, and you could go on rants. I got opinions on burgers. Okay. Well done, Jake. Next. Next. I'm gonna clear my palate. <laughs> Palette's clear. Palette's clear, round two. This is the Mrs. Elk shape, traditional. Fatty burger. Elk burger. People ask us, do you eat elk? Can you eat elk? Cheers. Why do you, how can you kill three elk a year and eat all that? You just mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I lost. <laughs> Zero to 10. That's our scale. Tell us whose was better. Cut to the chase. It's pretty good. <laughs> Here's what I loved about Jake's. I like his sauce he made. I could taste that. If I were to have him, like that bacon was a little, and I don't know if this is his prep, but a little undercooked. And I don't know if that's just because we rushed him, but anytime you put bacon and an egg on a burger, you're setting yourself up to win. So I would say I would give Jake the nod on the best component tree. He has the best whatever. It's a little undercooked, on the bacon side, his bun selection was awesome. I like that he made his own little sauce as well. I'm, I don't even know if you need to do the bacon thing that he did, you know what I mean? Like that might be overcomplicating something that doesn't need to be. On Alicia's, I'm already ready to take my next bite. Like it's clean, it's crisp, the lettuce crunched, the tomato. You can taste whatever those aminos are doing. It's called a magic potion. And I think Jake might want to steal that part of her recipe. And then I think for Alicia, Obviously she knows how to put bacon and eggs on a burger or whatever, but she might want to get with Jake and learn his special sauce. So like if they could combine powers, that's good. I'm going to give Alicia a 9.1. I'm going to give Jake an 8.9. The Jake burger had the better bun, in my opinion. I like the bun. I like... It's better from components, really. I like the bun. They're two very different burgers. I could eat like two or three of Alicia's, probably one and a half of Jake's. <laughs> yeah. Dude, they're so different, but honestly. Which is great. I like that they're completely different. If I'm going like down and dirty, best American style burger, they're so different, but I would probably give it to Alicia for the burger patty component. I think the patty is actually just a little, I think it's a little bit better. I think Jake's bun was better. Cheese, I could give or take either one. Sauce, I could give or take either one. But I think. Really? That's good. Yeah, yeah, I think the cheese sauce, I think give or take either one, but I think if you go straight up patty, patty versus patty, yeah. I think Alicia's catching the dub. I'd give it like Alicia 8.7, Jake 8.3, 8.5. They're both very good burgers, guys. They're way better than we would do. You will never get this at a restaurant. I can promise you that. That's Elk Burger straight up. That's Elk Shape. It's what he does. He hauled it out of the mountains. Thank you guys for being here. Subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 100K. We're doing weird shit like this just for you guys. Help us out. Let us, Alicia, let us know if you want to do it again. Thank you, guys. That's a wrap. Oh, wow. <laughs> so yummy. <laughs> <laughs> His face is Look like a pond. Devoured. I have food in my mouth. I just tried Jake's burger. Really good. I love breakfast food, so it was basically like breakfast on a burger, egg, bacon. Um, there's a little kick to it, for sure. I taste the spice, and I do like his bun. He's got a nice bun. Got a nice bun, dude. <laughs> you got them nice buns, dude. Mm -hmm.
I already found his butt. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> How's that bite, dude? That's pretty good. All American tomato lettuce on your burger, like super good. I like pickles. Like if this had like some of those like zesty pickles on there, next level. The patty is really, really good. Whatever she's putting in there, I like it. You think you and Alicia can be friends? Mm -hmm.